This is New England Daily. News, weather, opinion, talk. Right now on NECN. And a little work on the farm turns out to be great therapy for some folks on the Cape. We'll be right back. It is time now for On Cape from the newsroom of the Cape Cod Times in Hyannis, Massachusetts. Today we look through the lens of Paul Blackmore at some Cape residents who have really taken to farming. Paul's in the newsroom this morning to tell us about some of the photos from the story the paper has done on the folks from Cape Abilities. Hi, Paul. Good morning. What are some of the, you know, it's kind of an interesting thing to be able to go and document, obviously, as a photojournalist. You know, this is something that fascinates me about television as well. And um, you got the chance to do that. Can you tell me a little bit about Capabilities? And let's look at some of the pictures. Uh, sure. Well, Cap Capabilities is an um, organization on the Cape that uh, helps people with disabilities. Uh, I, I think that in life, everyone needs to have uh, a feeling of self-worth. And this is a great program. The farm opened up about three years ago and, and it employed only 10 people. And today there are 50 people working on the farm through this organization. And all of them have something to do there. And it's very rewarding for all of them to be working. Show me, tell me a little bit about the photograph we're looking at right now. Uh, well, this is a photograph of uh, John Powers. And he is putting up a tomato, uh, tying a tomato to a trellis. Uh, all the all the vegetables down there are grown in these greenhouses, and it's all hydroponic. And uh, it's interesting. I mean, to give me give me a little sense of what the challenge was for you as a photographer. I mean, obviously, you got these these people who are doing their jobs, and um, it sometimes, as I, we know, they can be intimidated when you show up with a camera. Oh, absolutely! It's taken a lot of time to uh, just hang out with them and uh, have them feel comfortable with me being there. That was re the real icebreaker, was just getting, you know, getting permission mm -hmm. from the, uh, the parents and the guardians of these people and having them feel comfortable with me there. And not everyone is comfortable uh, right, of being course. photographed. So right, some of these shots that. are really incredible, Paul. Uh, we saw um, um, a, one of uh, someone who was just smiling in an incredible way. Just to be able to capture that moment must be great for you. Oh, Anne Marie, yeah, she's a sweetheart. Uh, she's 42 years old from Centerville, and she works there uh, about, this is her second year, and I think she does about 20 hours a week. Uh, and and when someone comes around and tells her she's doing a good job, she just lights up like a Christmas tree. And it's moments right. like that that really make this project worthwhile. Uh, it's just wonderful to see that, that happen. All right, well, Paul, thanks very much for letting us take a look at the photographs. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. For more on this story and others, check out today's Cape Cod Times on the web at capecodonline.com.